And Darren Young, whose real name is Fred Rosser, is with us now exclusively. Fred, good morning. Nice to good see morning. you. Good morning. I'm a big fan of you. I'm happy to be here. Well, it's good to have you here. I look at that video of you at that airport mm -hmm. at the baggage claim, and the TMZ camera comes up to you, and I don't see a guy who looks like he's being confronted. I look at a guy who seems as if he's been waiting for that moment almost, expecting it, and is very comfortable in it. Talk to me about it. I mean, why not? I mean, I felt like it was the right place and the right time. And I feel by coming out, I'm going to make a big difference in a lot of people's lives. Why the right time? Why did you feel personally it was your right time? You know, I've been suppressing these feelings for so long in my life that, you know, I'm going to be 30 uh, November 2nd. And uh, I just need to be happy. And I, till the day I'm six feet under, I will always say, I want to be happy, and I'm happy now. Did, as a professional wrestler, did you live in fear of being outed by someone else, that someone else would take control of that very personal piece of your life? I'll be honest with you. I mean, I was terrified, you know, and I think anybody in my shoes would feel the same way. Um, but, you know, it took some guts, you know. So at another point in your life, if someone had walked up to you with a camera and started talking about being homosexual, it might have provoked panic as opposed to that calm demeanor we saw. Sure, 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 absolutely. The response from fellow wrestlers that I've seen, tweets and things like that, and from the wrestling organization has been enormously supportive. Unbelievable. From, surprised by it? Uh, very surprised, you know, from Vince McMahon, who I talked to personally uh, last night, Stephanie, Stephanie McMahon. Triple H. Uh, I even talked to Jason Collins last night, too, and he actually gave me some advice on how to handle this whole situation and how to cope with it and how to be positive and be a strong individual. When you, when you saw the footage a second ago of Jason Collins and we mentioned that he came out, you went like this. Yeah. Did yeah. he help inspire you? He did. Right on. Right on. When I'm happy about something. When you get back in the ring, the first time you step in the ring, crowded arena what response do you think you'll get from fans um i'll probably get a mixed reaction maybe some good some bad but you know at the end of the day i want to be able to be a role model i want to be a role model to people that are afraid to come out um uh i, I want to be there i want to be able to speak at different functions and educate and tell my story because my story goes further than being gay, you know. As a young child, I had a uh, speech impediment, a stuttering problem. I got bullied, I got picked on, but that didn't stop me uh, from becoming a WWE superstar. I got the help I needed, and uh, I had a speech, patho uh, speech uh, pathologist help me out, and um, I'm uh, living a dream now. Well, and it's your personal dream, and it's the truth. Yes, and you know, I have the best of both worlds. You know, uh, I'm in love, and uh, I wrestle for one of the greatest organizations in the world, the WWE, and I'm a lucky man. Fred, lucky. It's, it's nice to have you here, Fred Rosser. Thanks very much for sharing your story. Thank